the egg roll is frying. You see where there's no oil up here, how it looked like that. So, but you know, it's okay with me. I'm used to it. I just flip it over and just let it fry on the other side. And I only put one at a time because my pot is not that big. And the more you put in there, it brings the temperature of the oil down. Now, and you want it to stay crispy because you don't want the oil to soak inside of the egg roll. Now, if you have a fry baby or a fry daddy or a fry mama, you could drop two or three of that hot oil and, and put it down and pull it back up. And I'm sure it's delicious. But I always use the pot. You know, and I always, I usually put two. And then what you do, you, you check it to make sure that if it's sizzle, okay, it's good and hot. And I place it on the envelope side. That's what I call it. And just place it in there and just let it fry. See how it's frying? Look at that. It's just frying. And it'll puff. See, that grease is good and hot. I raise the temperature up just a little bit. And you don't turn it until it gets good and brown or else it's going to float back over on the other side. And this one here is almost ready. See how it looks? But I'm going to turn it back. I want it to get just a little bit more crispy. It's almost ready. Yep. Almost ready. And you see how there's no, almost no bu bubbling around it like it is this one? That lets you know that this one is ready. And voila. Look at that delicious egg roll. And I'm going to cut it for you when I get done. This is my lemons over there where I made lemonade. But then I'm going to flip it over. See how it's not as brown as the other one? But that's okay. That's all right. I'm going to let it fry. Yep. And it will change how it cook on the outside depending on what you have stuffed in it. But this is just the beef one. I'm going to take it because I have the foam. But I'm just going to take it and cut it open. You hear that crunch? Look at that. Just, just look at that. Oh, you want to know what that is? That's my leftover um, um, sloppy joe with cabbage. I said, you know what I got a little bit left? Let me go ahead and stuff it with that. Look at that. And that's some cabbage. Mmm. Look at that. Look at that yumminess. Look at that. Mmm. My fingers are burning. Pick this one up. Look at that. Ooh, loo, yum, 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 yum. Stuff it. You probably would taste delicious if you stuffed it with apples or peaches or whatever. But I'm going to turn this back over again so it can get brown on this side. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Cool. Now as soon as those bubbles start slowing down, that means there's nothing else on the side to fry. And it's slowing down. And I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take it out. And if you have a cookie sheet, one that, you know, where it can drain good, I don't suggest to drain it on paper towels because it's just set in. But since these were for me, you know, if I was cooking it for a dinner party or a little party or something, I would probably, you know, drain it differently. And then you place it here. And there's my egg roll. Look at the yumminess. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness. All right, guys. Miss Daisy finna enjoy that with some lemonade that I made. All right. Again, let me let you see how wonderful that is. Look at that. Look at, look at the crispiness on top of it. Mm. All right, guys. I have one more to fry. I'm going to place that one in there. As you can see, that's my sloppy joe in there, but that's okay. That's the sauce, and there it goes. All right, Miss All right, guys, Miss Daisy in the kitchen, making something delicious to inspire you to make something delicious. Miss Daisy.